Your super vat will include the metal vat frame with an attached acrylic window, the super vat liner, two thumb screws, and two binder clips. In addition, you will need a build head, a 2.0 millimeter hex key, two retaining screws depending on your printer model, and a flat and Phillips head screwdriver. Begin with the metal vat frame. It will come shipped attached to the acrylic window. The protective liner has already been removed on the reverse side. Remove the protective sticker attached to the front of the window. Notice that the acrylic is adhered with double stick tape. If preferred, it may be reattached with super glue, but is more easily adjustable and replaceable with tape. Next, you can attach the super vat liner. Notice that there are pre-punched holes that align to the metal vat frame. Place the liner inside of the vat frame and ensure that the base sits flush on top of the acrylic. Secure the liner by utilizing the two thumb screws. From the inside, connect the liner through the center holes on the metal frame. Repeat on the opposite side. Notice that the SuperVAT is a flexible liner. The SuperVAT uses this flexibility to relieve the suction caused by the moving head and no longer requires the tilt hinge mechanism. You may secure the hinge in two ways. Fasten the tilt hinge by replacing the two retaining screws with a Phillips head screwdriver. They are intended for use with the SuperVAT, but needed to be removed with the PDMS vats. If your machine does not have the retaining screws, it can be achieved with two metal binder clips. Place the clips along the inside of the printer, connecting the printer case and the tilting frame. Then back the bottom arm to clear the path of the laser. Pinch the top arm and remove the metal ensuring the clip does not interfere with the action of the laser or the vat. Load the completed SuperVAT assembly into the Pegasus. The notch section will enter first as it allows extra movement for the build head, while the viewing window will remain along the front to monitor prints and resin level. Adjust the ball nose screws on the vat in the same way as you would a traditional vat. Using a small flathead screwdriver, loosen or tighten each corner of the tray so that the vat can be removed, but securely locks into place. Attach the build head to the arm and tighten the screw. Level the same as you would a traditional vat. To level the head, go to the settings in the upper right hand corner. This will bring you to the calibration menu. Go to calibrate motor and accept. Here you can move the head up or down. Bring the motor down, stopping just before it touches the vat. Open the lid and use the threads along the back of the machine to make the final adjustment.
Move the head down until it gently taps one of the corners of the mat. Adjust with a 2.0 millimeter hex key to raise or lower the vat at each corner. The adjustment screws are located directly above the springs. The goal is for the head to touch all four corners simultaneously without applying pressure to the springs. Be aware that in certain models, the back two screws may use a 2.5 millimeter hex key for adjustment. When you are confident that the plate and the vat are parallel, ensure the head is at the bottom of its motion and set the motor homing. Test the motor homing to return it to its starting position. From here, you can raise the motor and add the resin. 